Hi friends. Hi Guillaume. We're glad you're here too. We are here for another live stream. I am Rachel Archelaus, founder of the Intuitive Art Academy, channeler of Intimate Alien, author, artist, extraordinaire, grad student. Who's Carrie rolled on? I was gonna say green haired weirdo. Let's <laughs> green haired weirdo. We're, we're doing it. <laughs> Muscle building champion. Yes. <laughs> All the things. Well, I think that's actually a good way to start and introduce ourselves. <laughs> Carrie rolled on, wife, mother, runner, athletics coach, uh, business BFF. I'm leaving out a million other Entrepreneur, things. Entrepreneur, yes. author, yeah. We are multidimensional beings. Um, we both left out like intuitive artist, uh, <laughs> psychically connected being, all the things, um, but here we are and joining you guys in all of the things that you are. Yeah, happily. Hey, Katerina. So today we are talking about what Carrie and I have done this year, which is hired our higher selves. And it's been a ride. We'll talk about what we did, how we did it, how it's going. So we heard from Intimate Alien last week, um, but we want to talk more about it and how you can do it. And spoiler alert, we are holding a class on how to do this, a four-week class. And we'll tell you all about what is in the four weeks. And you can't sign up yet, so this isn't really even a sales call. But we're going to tell you about what we're going to be doing. And if you're interested, we'll be opening it up in the next few days if you want to sign up. But you can also go back to the email that sent you here and click the PS link. Um, there's a link down there. You just click it and it'll give you, um, it'll put you on the list to get information when we have it about signing up. So yeah, I am excited. We just had a, you know, we just talked to Intimate Alien before this with you, which we always do. And I think we're both sort of like coming off that high, you know, like I think the first thing we want to say about hiring your higher self is, it's the simplest way to go. It is the most feel good way to go. We don't, we don't ever get anything from her. We'll just say her that we don't need, right? There's no complicated overthinking. And there's always so much love, so much encouragement. And so I, that's where we're at right now. We're just coming off of that. <laughs> Well, and the thing about hiring your higher self is it truly is, I mean, I'm thinking about all of the, um, all of the businessy things we've ever kind of been taught. And one of the things that they often say, right, is like, what would you do if you weren't afraid? Do that. But when you put your higher self in charge and you have that connection to your higher self, it feels like that. It feels like, um, I mean, I, I know we talked about this already. I think last week, Guillaume was saying that was an awesome call last Thursday. Thanks, Guillaume. And hey, Marjorie. Um, but it, it does feel there is something about, uh, I don't want to speak for you, Rachel, but here's how it feels for me. Like when you were a small child, and you knew that your parents had all the answers, that they would like keep you safe. And like, you just had this, you had such trust and everything worked out. They made sure that your life went smoothly. I don't know that that is everybody's experience with their parents, but um, at least until a certain age, I feel like it is. <laughs> so um, there is, when you said, you opened up the call with saying, we want to tell you what we've done this year. I just took a moment to think about what have we done this year? Cause it kind of feels like we haven't done a whole lot and yet we have done a whole lot. And so that, that's what it feels like when you hire your higher self. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, we haven't, we haven't created a new class in years and it usually takes a lot of effort and meetings and back and forth and graphic design and like everything that we've done so far this year, 
which is way more than just design a class, um, has been effortless, you know, like other than my own resistance to some of it in the beginning, what has actually gone down to like the action parts of business and life, because it's not just business that she's guiding us on, um, have been need to know in the moment creation, extremely effortless. Like for example, um, I've, you know, when you launch a class, usually there's like a sales page, right? With the information on it. So people can click the buy button and learn when the times are and all that stuff. Right. I've been like waiting, like, when am I going to make this thing? Right. Cause people are interested in, and it's part of my job. Right. But like with every step, it's like, no, here's the, here's the outline of the class. Okay. Well that's done. That took two minutes. Right. Here is how you're going to get people, um, gather together to get that information. Okay. Well, that took two minutes. Right. So there hasn't been any, there hasn't, it's just fit into my life so well. And this is the first thing I want to talk about time, time yes. management, right? I sent you all an email a couple of days ago about time. And that was my Achilles heel in the beginning of the year, because like we started off listing off all the things that we do in the beginning, right. In our introduction and all of that stuff presumably takes its own chunk of time, right? Well, I felt like I didn't have enough time in the beginning and I was, I, Carrie got to see me a little frazzled, which is rare, right? <laughs> She's like, Oh, I haven't really seen this before. Um, and what happened was, I used my mind to try to plan out how the heck I was going to get all that stuff done because I was using an old reference, an old reference plotting. This takes this many hours and this takes this many hours. And that's why I had so much resistance and overwhelm and anxiety going on that made me feel quite burnt out. And then I realized, and this, this goes back to your higher self too. I realized intimate alien doesn't feel like this ever, you know, my higher self, which I feel is a slightly different from intimate alien, intimate alien is part of my higher self. Doesn't feel like that in the fifth dimension. I don't feel like that. Carrie's higher self doesn't feel like that. No one's higher self feels like this. They are accomplishing all that they want with complete ease. That's what I want. If I'm going to go on with this, if I'm going to create what Intimate Alien wants me to create, which is more than just one class, it's like all these things, I have to feel good. I am not willing to keep going like this. I cannot. And so once I made the decision to align with how my higher self does things, I swear to you, I cannot even access overwhelm anymore. And I still have just as much going on, if not more. So there is a shift that you can make when you align to your higher self, when you become your higher self in certain ways. You don't have to lose your personality, right? You don't have to like, actually, I'm not walking around as intimate alien all the time, but there are certain things that I'm adopting that are now deal breakers for me. I am not going to feel overwhelmed in my life. This is my life. I want to feel good. And I don't have to give up anything because I'm going up in vibration. There is no sacrifice or compromise when you go up. In fact, yesterday I was thinking, so I thought my problem with this overwhelm was that I wanted everything in my life to elevate. Right. I remember that I was like, I can't elevate one area of my life and not bring up everything else. Like I can't do that. If my love life's going to be better, well, my classes are going to be better and my body is going to be better and my emotions are going to be better and my expression is going to be better and everything rises up, which is really how everything is done anyway. So fundamentally, I was feeling what happens naturally, but I thought I had to do it all myself, right? I thought oh, yeah. in every area, I have to now go back and bring my A game, <laughs> redo everything, right? Which you could imagine if you're thinking like that, you're like, there's no way I can do that all. But when you go up in vibration, 
It all happens. It happens for you, right? Change one thing, elevate your vibration in one area, and all the rest comes up. That's multidimensional results. I've been teaching that forever. And then yesterday or the day before, I don't know, I had this thought of like, oh my God, like my expression is on point right now. It's at a new level. My body, my 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 movement practice is at a new level. I'm more athletic now than I've ever been in my entire life right? I got my green, my dream hair. I have it, right? Like my relationship with my boyfriend and my friends are incredible. Like everything went up and I have infinite time and I'm not feeling burnt out. And so it sounds too good to be true because when you're thinking linearly, it is too good to be true. But when you hire your higher self, you become your higher self, you take on those attributes time opens up and everything elevates which is a blessing and a dream and it's what we all want and experiencing it is i mean <laughs> i don't know how many times we can say it's easier than you expect um but even what it has been for me is about being grateful for what i know and releasing what I know. So even with your example of like putting the class together, um, the, I guess it is about letting go of have tos, like the way it's always been done, the things we think we have to do. Our higher self is like, watch this. <laughs> just, just let me drive for a minute. Let me show you. Um, I know a magical shortcut, um, or the, I mean, even just you and I together, like as we've accessed this higher self energy, right? I feel um, I am asking you more powerful questions and getting like better, easier answers. Like we are, because each of us have, so yes, we have installed Intimate Alien as CEO and each of us are committed to hiring our higher self, right? So we got we got like a win-win-win situation going on over here. But like, I let my higher self talk to your higher self and they're like, oh, watch this, you guys. And then we just get to be, but before we started this call, I told Rachel, I feel like the train is like, has left the station and I've just like barely caught on, you know, in movies when like you, they're chasing after the train and they just barely catch it. I was telling Rachel, like, I've got to be honest, that's how I'm feeling. And she goes, that's how I feel true. And it, too, an intimate alien said, yeah, but you're on the train. And it was like, okay. Um, and this feels sometimes uncomfortable being on a train where like, I have a vague idea of where it's going. Um, but also that same, there's like a, the example for me is like a childlike feeling. Like I'm just a passenger on this train that's taking me to Disneyland. It's like the monorail, you know, <laughs> like um, I'm just going to the place I want to go. And I trust that it's going to take me there. And it's taking me on a beautiful journey I didn't expect. And wow, it's going faster or it's making things easier than I would have expected. And look at, they have great food while I'm here. Like all of that is happening. And I dip out of it all the time. So I want to like full disclosure, my personality often takes over. Um, but I like the way it feels so much that it is getting, but it's getting easier and easier and easier to continue to let my higher self run the show specifically when like, that's when you get better. That's when I get better results. Like my personality is just really messing things up for me. So um, yeah, we have a question though. Um, oh, how does this work for those of us who are not psychics? Fair question. Yeah. Well, let me share the picture. So um, let me see. You guys bear with me, please. Share screen. Okay. Let's try to find it. And while you're doing that, Rachel, I am just going to say um, I am super psychic and forget that all the time. I forget it all the time. And yeah. I'm betting Rachel, you do too. <laughs> no, I never forget I'm psychic. No. But <laughs> um, 
but I have taught psychic development for, I don't know, 20 years now. And everyone is psychic. So you're not going to be psychic in the way if you, if you don't identify as psychic right now, our goal would not be to teach you how to talk to your spirit guide without a shadow of a doubt, right? Like that's not necessary. But what I've also created in my lifetime is a tool called intuitive art that helps people talk to their higher selves. So I'll answer the question, but I want to show you what we're doing in the four weeks so that maybe you'll understand like, oh, like I, I don't have to like be able to see spirits or anything to like get something out of this. So back, I don't even know when I did this, but I was inspired to do an intuitive art card reading for this class just to see, okay, what is each week about? This is a way that I'm I use my psychic senses and intuitive art to get information. So I could just sit down and, you know, ask intimate alien, okay, tell me what the four weeks are about. But this is even easier because I just shuffle my deck and I'm like, okay, I didn't know there would be three cards for each one. I just let my hand do the work. And the first week of hire your higher self is about who is your higher self those cards are multidimensional, infinite, and expansive. So who are you as a multidimensional, infinite, expansive being, right? And if you are going through that class, obviously Intimate Alien is teaching. She'll guide you in a meditation. She'll guide you with prompts. But you can also use intuitive art to help you get concrete answers. And we are there to help you as well to decode, to um coach you on our Q&A calls every week so that you feel really, really centered in what you're getting. So psychic skills, not necessary, even though everyone always has psychic skills. So week two is become your higher self. So those cards are embodied play and boundaries and focus. Boundaries and focus is the dark one. That's the same card. So how do you embody your higher self? Well, there's always going to be play there because your higher self is having a shit ton of fun. So I love that. <laughs> Week three is a, what is your higher self's direction for your life or business? Right? So we have truth, ground. Oh, sorry. We have limiting beliefs. So we're going to tackle that, right? Like Carrie was saying, her personality takes over and, you know, bumps her higher self out of there. I have a tendency to feel overwhelmed, right? That's a limiting belief. So we're going to deal with that. We're not just ignoring that. Um, but the other cards are happiness and intuition. So how can you know what your higher self's direction for your life is? We're going to go there head on. And then in week four, how to follow their lead. This is important. You need to know how to keep how to keep checked in, right? How do you stay connected to them to know where to go? Because they're going to give you one step at a time, which has been a real blessing for us, but is also a little like Carrie saying, like we don't know where we're going. We're on this train and it's going somewhere cool, but we're not really sure. So, this week is about truth, grounded action, and all the things, everything is equal. And that is where you're going to get a big shift because, you know, it's not just the strategy you think you need. It's not just the time management skills you think you need. It is, oh, well, playing with this little crystal in my office, that is just as important as, you know, building an email list or whatever. So knowing that, everything is equal in your life is really important and it's a big shift to make. So yeah, the four weeks, who is your higher self? Become your higher self. What is your higher self's direction for you and how to follow their lead? So I just like, even just watching you, I saw you I don't know if you posted this vid somewhere, if you just sent it to me, I can't remember, but I, I, I've seen these cards before and 
hearing you lay it out this way, I don't know how you guys are feeling watching, but it makes me feel relaxed and excited, which those two feelings together, that's the best feeling, right? And it has me feeling relaxed and excited because it, wow, everything I need to know, right, on how to how to hire my higher self and get where I need to be. And the, the I mean, I'm saying how over and over again, but the framework feels not overwhelming. <laughs> framework feels relaxing, doable. Um, and like each step, like what gets me excited is, wow, the the possibility of a massive shift in four weeks. Like what each of those, what implementing each of those weeks, the compound effect of that is substantial in your life. I mean, we know that, right? It's multidimensional. Um, but it's just hearing you explain it like that left me shocker, feeling more relaxed and excited about um, delivering this class. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I think it's um, it's simple, but it's juicy. It's exciting. I can't wait. One of the biggest shifts that I've received um, is I feel so much more excited about life. And I have regained my, like, almost irrational confidence. That's what exactly what I was going to say. Like, I feel pretty magical. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I kind of know what happened. I won't go into the whole thing, but like, I, I've always sort of been that like, like optimism or bust kind of person, you know, but sometimes as an adult, you, you have down years and you go the wrong way and you don't listen as much as you should to your higher self. And like, this has just absolutely sewn me back up. Like, and the thing that I most want to experience on this planet is expression right? I just, that's me. Like, I love business. I love all of that. But if, unless it's going to fulfill that part of me, I just don't have time for it. Like, I can't do it. And I was worried about like, oh, an app, like, oh, like, are we going to go in a direction that just feels like we're just in a business? We're just making money. That's not anything I want to be a part of, you know? And I was worried about that. But when I keep checking in and I do my little readings on it, like, like your higher self is never going to steer you away from your core desires. The thing that's incredible is that your higher self knows everything about you, everything about what you desire, your desired lifestyle, the kind of money you want, but also what is absolutely aching to come out of your heart, right? Like what will make you feel absolutely fulfilled to the core? And it's going to combine all of that. And like, I don't know if I would have necessarily felt worthy enough on my own to design something like that. Like that's a new level of love, like self-love, like, yes, my love, you can have it all. And here's how, and we're going to go there together and we're going to do it one step at a time. It's like, what a gift. So I, yeah. Anyway, that's, well, that's it, my takeaway. <laughs> it is the one step at a time uh, relationship to our higher selves that, I think that is the thing I keep describing as like, I feel like childlike yeah. um, because it is that one step at a time. Um, there's that loving trust and just what you said, you just like casually dropped an app. Um, but I don't know that everyone watching or listening knows what you're talking about. Do you want to go into that? Yeah. So 
As a part of this class, you're going to get to test out our new daily alignment app. Because one of the big things about having this higher self connection is you need to be in alignment in order to hear them, right? You need to be holding your hand up so that you can grab their hand. And having a daily alignment practice is not the simplest thing in the world because we're all busy. We have momentum of not doing that. And so we found that, well, Intimate Alien told us, <laughs> like, put it in an app. And so we've designed a very simple, easy to use app where you can reference and check off what you're doing each day. Um, and it's interactive. You have a coach in there saying, yeah, way to go. See, you're meditated three days in a row. That's amazing. Keep going. And so there is that sort of like intimate reflection and connection while you are building a habit of daily alignment. So you get to use the app while you're in the class. And I mean, if you like it, you can continue. But yeah, we're really excited about it. We are really excited about it. And like you said, it wasn't a it was something we had mentioned and talked about and said, wasn't that cool? But like it wasn't a direction we thought we were going until we actually listened. Mm hmm. And that's really cool. Okay, we're almost out of time, but I have one question and I wrote it down actually in the very beginning. So um, you were talking about hiring your higher self and I got like this feeling of like, oh, we got, we have to explain why this matters so much right now. And I wanna like, my brain wants to frame it in the context of that call we had at the beginning of 2024, the reading we had for 2024. Um, but do you want to put it into like, I, I might just be projecting this onto all of you, you guys, but I feel such a, such a sense of urgency to do this now. Um, I don't want to say like, because if I don't, you'll be left behind because I don't believe in FOMO, yeah. but there's good reason to do this now. Can you talk about it? Yeah, so there is like energetically on this planet, we are going in different directions. You might be seeing this right now. We basically, we have a choice of which train do we want to be on? Do we want to be on the train to solutions and ease and abundance for all and equality and equity and, and living a higher dimensional experience? which is who we are, or do we want to be on stuck in polarity? Do we want to be stuck in you're right and I'm wrong and, and I'm right and you're wrong and violence and, you know, being in the same thought bubble and, you know, going in the direction that has pain and suffering. Um, it's happening whether we acknowledge it or not like we're on a path, whether we acknowledge it or not. And it's just going to get harder and harder to change momentum because you get more ingrained in whatever side you're going on. Have you ever like lost someone to the other side? I've seen it happen. And I believe in you're here for yourself, right? There's no judgment there. Um, well, there probably is because I'm human, but like, <laughs> I don't want there to be judgment, but I've seen this happen where like, you just, people lose that sparkle in their eye and they're gone and you're never going to see them again. And that's okay. But I want to go toward the sparkle. I want to go toward love, toward equality, toward all the good things that make my heart sing. And we even have a chance this year right now to be on that spiral of time expansion that I was talking about. That is an actual thing that's happening and it's a choice that we can make. So just like I was experiencing intense overwhelm and anxiety. And then the next moment, because I made a decision, I was on that expansion of time and I haven't looked back. That's kind of what we're at right now. Like you get to choose what do you want your life experience to be energetically and that's something that we're helping you with, honestly, you know, um, we have a, an extremely rare 
experience here on earth where we're here at this time because we have these opportunities to experience ourselves in higher dimensional ways in a physical reality. It's really, really, really cool. But we're not going to feel like it's really, really, really cool and our lives are exceptional unless we devote our, at least some of our time to being in alignment with that. And that's what we help you do. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I just... I, at the beginning of the year, yes, with what you said about... Like, I wasn't even thinking about, like, the sort of, like, divergent paths. I was just thinking about, oh, it's 12.01, too, so we got to hop out of here. But I was just thinking about what we said at the beginning of the year and about the energy of this year and what it's bringing and, you know, the ride that we're on. And... um it just, it seems really, really, really timely that right now, right now, I mean, why, of course, of course it's timely. Why would we get the idea for the class? So of course, because there's only synchronicity, right? Synchronicity is our calendar. So of course it's perfect. Yes. And I just want to say to Larry, I love that. Like, why not be ridiculous? Of yes. You to be ridiculous. Yes. I don't, I don't even know, know if I, in a good way or not, but I'm taking it. Yes. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. Like when I saw the Larry's comment, I thought, oh, is this like a good ridiculous or <laughs> like is Larry angry at us? But that's either fair. way, the, yeah, like let's embrace the ridiculous. Like especially you guys don't even know. You do know. Rachel has a real love of all things Willy Wonka. And like all the ridiculous propositions in really Wonka's <laughs> land, right? It is a ridiculous proposition. And that's why it's so fabulously perfect. And like, I, I think this is like our message in like what kind of life I would love to live a ridiculously happy, ridiculously easy, ridiculously fulfilling, ridiculously joyful life. And that is what is happening um as we are letting our higher selves run the show yep so yeah. so in other words go back to that email that we sent you today if you want more info on the class just click that button down at the bottom uh i will obviously email you when you can enter if you are interested um, but thank you for being here today thank you to our channel members i love you so much jana thanks for being here if you would like to join the channel and get a special video from me every Saturday, you can click below where it says join and um, become a galaxy pal. Other than that, Carrie, this was so much fun. I love you so much. And Same. thank you, Katarina, and <laughs> our higher selves and, um, and Joao and Marjorie. And thank you all for your questions. And hi, Nico. And we'll see you all soon. Yes, we will. Okay. Bye, you guys. Bye.